Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome to a new... It's not really a game. It's kind of a game. Well, it is a game in the sense that it is a, a game software that is um, for the Sega Saturn. Um, although I wasn't able actually actually able to get the game itself, um, I was able to track down basically all the screenshots of the entire game. Which is not a game per se, it's really just a slideshow. Which is, which is um, appropriate because I'm totally doing this as a slideshow on Windows. <laughs> so what is this? This is a bunch of concept art by um, a guy named Yoshiyuki Saramoto. Um, who did a lot of concept art for Gainix back in the day. Um, this disc includes a bunch of concept art for Evangelion as well as a bunch of other uh, Gainix uh, properties. So we're going to have a look at them. Um, there's not really much to do here as far as gameplay is concerned. But we'll just, uh, we'll just admire the prints. Um, I think the, uh, the, the Evangelion ones are actually... Um, there's a lot of shots there that were included in the... Um, I think it was the first... The first video VHS, um, when I, back back in the day when I bought them all on VHS, the very first video came with like a whole bunch of concept art, and I think those are the, these are those pictures, and I haven't seen them since I watched that VHS, and I haven't seen that VHS for a long time. Anyway, let's move on. All right, what is this? <laughs> um, uh, I was just I think this is his um. This is the timeline of the dude. So it looks like he was born in 1962 um, on the 29th of January. In 1984, what did he do in 1984? He went to university. Um, December, he did something with Gainax. He was 22 years old. Um, 1989, what did he do? Ki kya kya la kuta design. Okay, so he was doing character design. In 1991, new type. He must have done some sort of drawing for new type, the magazine. R20. I think that actually means it's like R rated. Okay. Wonder if those pictures will be in here. Probably not. 1992. Um, something to do with character design. Oh, right, it actually says what the character design was. Oh, so in, in 89 it was Fushigi na, Nadaya. Oh, Nadaya. I remember N Nadaya. Nadaya. That, um, that weird character. Um, that was in the, uh, yeah, okay. Um, which I've never actually seen that of. Um, and then 1992 it was, um, Ulu? Ulu. don't know what that is. But in 1994, he did Evangelion. Yay. Um, character design? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's move on. So this is obviously our... Oh, there's R20. Or maybe R20 is the name of it. Maybe the maybe they are actually R-rated videos, R-rated pictures. Now you know, see how the R the R twenties in quotation marks. It's probably the the name of the anime. Okay, well right, let's have a look. So first up, we've got oh this is our uh, wings of Homo hom oh god how do you say that name Homonose Ho Honeamisu. This is that anime. I've seen this anime. I saw it once. About this guy who dreams of becoming an astronaut, and it's a pretty boring movie. Like m almost all of the pictures, almost all of the scenes are just him like looking up at the sky. So I guess that's him as a boy, watching the. Is that a? Is that a like a rocket flying from a like an aircraft carrier? That's cool. I don't know if it's a rocket. It could just be a um a plane, but it's got a trail behind it. That, that, see, this is him, but I remember him being old, but that actually looks a lot like Shinji. It kind of looks like Shinji cross, um, Steam Boy. Because <laughs> his outfit's kind of 
kind of steampunkish. Not steampunk, it's just steam, really. <laughs> but yeah, that really looks like Shinji. Like a slightly older Shinji. Where, where is he? He's the top one, right? I think so. So, these are the astronauts, I guess? Yeah. Look at that, look at that characters down the bottom. Yeah, that's a weird script. Um, is this the same? Is this the same anime? Yeah. I don't know who this is. This must be the love interest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's a pilot. And an astronaut. Same difference, really. Ah, oh, there he is, looking up at the sky. As you do. Why would you... I, I would imagine it would be quite difficult to, um, ride a motorcycle, like, wearing the full, like, uh, astronaut suit. Space suit. What is that plane? Look at all the propellers on it. Groovy. Okay, moving on to... Oh, this is Nadia. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is that one. Who is that? Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there she is. There's Nadia. She's got she's got the diamond, kind of like uh, Lapuja. That Miyazaki movie. Actually, this does seem similar to Lapuja. Oh, it's the... Who's that? Is that a boy? I guess? It's very similar to Miyazaki, isn't it? In style. Hmm. So he's obviously some kind of a uh, pilot, and she's... What is she? I don't know. I don't know what this anime's about, but that's France. I know that much. There's that little girl. Oh, that little girl with the weird rat thing. Yeah. Where's that supposed to be? I don't know. Where is she? is she supposed to be like the like the boy founder somewhere, like in some African country or something? Because her clothes are very uh, exotic, shall we say? Yeah, there's that little girl down the bottom. I think her name was Maddie or whatever. And there's that weird. Is it a lion? I don't know. It kind of looks like a mouse. <laughs> And hey, here's a whole bunch of pictures of Nadia jumping around, hugging that weird thing. Oh my god, if you look at the the bottom left picture where she's hugging that white lion thing, if you look at the lion's crotch, there's totally little testicles. Okay, moving on. Alright. Well, we've turned into Space Captain Harlock. <laughs> what? That that dude, the the thing that dude's wearing is totally, like, Leiji Miyamoto inspired. That's weird. Wait, is this under the ocean? Is that, where, is that where this anime goes? I don't know. Hang on. What? See behind her? Yeah. She's got, like, a little gas tank backpack thing? Yeah. Is she an underwater, like, person? Can we just go back? Uh, how would you, how would you be able to tell? That would, like, interesting contrast, because, like, she's, like, underwater, and he, like, he likes to fly. You sure about that? She's probably, like, an underwater princess or something. Um, I can believe that. I can believe that. You can, you can definitely see the similarities between, like, Evangelion character designs and this. Oh, that's, that's Nadia gone. No, there's more Nadias. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, my God, what the fuck? <laughs> it's that little Manny chick, only she's, like, all make, make, up, make up. She's all whatever. She's got lots of makeup on. So does the lion. Okay. Who is that guy in the middle with the hat? Ah, there's a fat dude there, too, with a robot kangaroo. <laughs> and there's some red thing in the background too. Also, that pose that Nadia is doing is making me uncomfortable. I can totally see down her shirt. Again, images of water. She, she must be a mermaid or, or something. You reckon? I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is she's not wearing a lot of clothes. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, dude, you can totally see the fucking lion's testicles in that picture, too. Wait, go back. Can you see him here? Which one? The one where she's hugging him. Go back. Go all the way back. No, you can't see it. Okay, moving on. Submarine. This must be like a, a series where she's like a defender of the ocean or something. What the hell is that thing? That is a sailor inspiration if I ever saw one. Look at that thing in the back. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, yep, I knew that pendant did something special. And... Wow, this is... Is this still Nadia? I, yeah, it is. Wow, that's really not fitting with anything that we've seen thus far. Um, yep, yeah, alright, well, that proves that she's uh, Zulu. Or something. Something to that effect. Okay. But wait, wasn't she a... I thought you thought she was an underwater princess. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything, okay? Atlantis? Okay. Dude, that guy really likes flying. Yeah, well, you got to admit, if you could fly around in a jetpack like that, you'd do it. I suppose. Actually, maybe that's what that thing... Oh, do, do we really want to go all the way back? It's like, that's his little jetpack. Not not a breathing apparatus. Okay, I, I can believe that. Anyway. Is this more Nadia? Yeah, more. Wow. That looks a lot like... You know what that looks like a lot like of? Looks a lot like Ritzko... And the, I forgot her name, the chick from Zone of the Enders, the, um, the commander chick. Also, it looks like, um, one of the characters from, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Well, the outfit kind of looks like Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Okay. Where's the deer in this shot? She is not in the shot at all. Does that guy have an eye patch? Man, that is such cliche. No, I don't think he does. Like, his eye, his right eye is covered up there. But if you look here, his eye is totally visible, so. What? Oh. Oh, maybe they're aliens. Guess that makes sense. Oh, the lion's really big now. Oh, it's a big lion. I didn't know he, maybe he grows up. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's like Kira, Kira Barris from Card Captain Sakura. Yeah. There's a lot of detail in that girl's uh, belly. Look at all the detail there. It's... <laughs> That guy spent a lot of time doing that. Alright, who we got next? Um, Lunaulu's Saga. Okay. Don't know this one. Are those all planets up the sky there? Yeah. Wow. Oh, very religious themed. I think, I guess. Sure. Are these all just pictures of murals? Pretty much. Ugh, snake lady. That's creepy. That's pretty creepy. Um, that looks a lot like a picture of, uh, like Star Wars or something. <laughs> it does, actually. Uh, whoa, hello. <laughs> That's, uh, hmm. Hmm. That's a picture. <laughs> I don't know if that's safe for work. Um, I got a look at that creepy owl walking owl thing with an old man on its back. That's weird. This anime is weird. The design's not great either. What is that? What is that? Blue chicken with a spear? Alright, fair enough. Sure, why not? What is this? Uh, it's the one more picture of that group. Okay, we're up to R20. So there's going to be... No, I think this is actually, um... Something, uh... Just the name of the anime, not actually something that's rated, like, for people over the age of 20. Okay. That looks a lot like Masada, actually. She's got the same cross and everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, is that a hover bike? No, it's just a weird-ass motorcycle. And there's a Valvoline. <laughs> that is so clearly Valvoline. Wait, is Vaveline even... Does Vaveline even get sold outside of Australia? Oh, apparently. <laughs> Remember Vaveline? I thought that was an Australian product. Maybe it's not. I don't know, it's something about a key, weird rings in the sky, and... a motorcycle. And that's it. Yeah. 
Now that, that is a Star Wars poster if I ever saw one. Look at that. The only difference is she's, um, she's holding a gun instead of a lightsaber. Like, that's literally the only difference. I mean, look at that. That gun is, um, interesting, too. Also, your outfit is not really, um, very useful in space. Also, um, I don't know why your, your skirt's, like, flying around so much, because there is no wind in space. Moving on. Whoa. Whoa, get a load of that mecha. That is, what is that? I don't know if it's got a big-ass cannon on the front of it. I like that. Also, whoever that is in the foreground, um, really, you probably need more armor on your, on your butt there. <laughs> your butt's pretty exposed, and I don't know why. Uh, okay. Dude, this is totally Star Wars. Look at that aeroplane, crashed aeroplane in the back. That is totally a friggin', um, what do you call them? Uh, 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 X-Wing. X-Wing? Yeah, X-Wing. Except they're riding metal dinosaurs. They're almost like chocobos. And their helmets are like chocobo knight armor. And they've got lances. Seems impractical in space. Couldn't you just shoot him? Eh, I don't know nothing. Alright, oh, this is this Ulu. Ulu something or other. Okay. Um. Planes. Um. None of those characters really look. Well, the top. The girl at the top kind of looks like Masato. Bottom left character face reminds me of something, but I'm not sure what. Uh, that's an interesting picture. Ooh, okay, flying through. Sp that's a, that is concept art if I ever saw one. Never heard of any of these anime, I know, right? What is that guy got on the right there? Is that like a. Is that an axe? Slash guitar? I'm not sure. Well, there's Shinji. What? Then, go back. Hmm, yeah, the guy on the right smoking a cigarette. Well, he kind of looked like Shinji, but that one there on the. No, wait, this one. Yeah, this guy. The guy, like. Like, uh, with his body to the to the left, with the little red triangle on his uh, on his arm. What is up with this guy in red triangles on on clothing, on like uniforms and stuff? Anyway, that's Shinji. Also, it's kind of like Toji down the bottom there. Yeah, not really. This guy, this guy's just no one. Really, look at him. <laughs> that's Masato. That is Masato. That is a young Masato. Look at that. That's that's okay. Um, are those the, uh, the rivals square off, even though they're not in their planes and there's, like, lava in between them? <laughs> ah, finally, Evangelion. Alright, so these, yeah, these are the pictures that I remember from the VHS. That one on the top right is, uh, creepy. Yeah. There's Masato wearing red. I like I like I like the picture of uh, Masato with the uh, the combat and like the little submachine gun. That actually looks really cool. And ponytail. I would actually really like to see like more scenes with her like in more combaty roles. Cause she's a freaking soldier. I mean, she knows how to fight. Um. Wait. Okay. Yeah. I know there's the tail one, but the one to the right of the tail one, she it looks like she's like cross-eyed, looking at her nose or something. Butterfly just landed on her nose. Oh, there's Ritzko. Yeah, that's, that's Ritzko. There's Ray. Ray looking a little bit more happier on the right side there. And that middle picture with the plug suit, that's a, that's a interesting plug suit. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder what it would have looked like if, if they'd gone with that, like more of a, that design. Whereas the plug suit that it is now is just like rubber, basically. Just nylon. Whereas this one is more like armor. 
which I, I suppose is irrelevant, not, not necessary, but, you know, uh, and there's Oscar's plug suit, which has got the same chest piece, yeah, with a little yellow triangle on it, it's just the pants are red, interesting. Gotta say, I like, I, maybe I, I prefer the normal plug suit to that one. You know what I hate? What? The plug suit that, that she wears in the second movie. It's so unnecessary. Yeah. Look how angry she is down the bottom there. Also, she has brown hair. Yeah, she doesn't have red hair. Well, she does in the left one, but... Mm. There's Gendo looking all angry. Look at that picture on the left. Stella! Look at the picture on the top right. Oh. Wait! Kind of reminds me of Shinji. And there's the Three Stooges. That's pretty much what they're... Well, except Kensuke's got glasses now. True. And there's everyone. And Masada... Look at Masada's... Look at Masada's combat bits. Man! God, she looks so hot. Um, Ray's legs... Ray's legs kind of bend to the right... A little bit. Like, it makes sense for the left leg to do that, because that's a thigh, but the right leg probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, oh my god, look at this design for Unit 1. Holy shit, look at that thing. Is that a, like a gun mounted on his arm? Dude. Or maybe that's where the prog knife comes out. It like flicks out of his... Kind of like, um... Assassin's Creed. Wow. I can't imagine this being, like, the design going forward. What else is there? Uh, is that the same? That's the same design, grabbing a gun? Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, it's the same design, holding a, a spear and fighting an angel that's like a ribbon. Well, there was that one angel. Oh, I suppose there was. Uh, more pictures. Oh, there's the same design, only the armor's coming off, and underneath you can see it's true form. Dude, that's metal. That is a weird way to get into the cockpit. <laughs> you know what? What? No, that thing on the right is totally a gun. On his left hand? Yeah. Where do you get the knife from? Probably the shoulder piece, same as normal. I can't... Maybe it gets it from the knee, the knee point. See how they join it out? Well, the normal Ava's like that, too. Not that much. Also, his eyes are really, like... Yeah. Well, there's Unit 1. I mean, Zero. My bad. And Ray's all tied up. Just the way I like it. Okay, stop. <laughs> hey, there's Masada wearing the, the red... Uh, the red... Uh, the um, Are you right? Yeah. She's wearing a red red dress instead of a black dress. That's interesting. Doesn't make sense. Um Right. Okay, so these these are less concept well they're still concept drawings, but they're more like they've decided the design now. And they're just doing some drawings of it. I've seen most of these before. Um, hey, Oscar's got a little wristwatch on her, uh, on her left hand there. Hmm. Why is Gendo's face in the side of Unit 1? <laughs> Makes no sense. Also, he's smiling. That's uncharacteristic of him. There's Ray doing the knocking on the window thing. Just like in the opening credits. I remember that picture. Yep. Yeah. Oscar just holding up her boobs. As you do. <laughs> Ray doesn't need to do that. Her boobs hold themselves up. <laughs> Take that, Oscar. <laughs> okay. Uh, unit 1, pulling out his, uh, prog knife. And, uh, Masada wearing the red. Red, red, red dress must have been a design choice at some point. Hmm. Hello. Hey, Masada, that bike is way too small for you. <laughs> It's one, of, it's one of those little donkey bikes. But, uh, nice butt. Just saying. <laughs> I remember this picture. Ray. Now, the question is, alright, that's obviously at school, at the swimming pool. Um, 
why would there be just this weird broken piece of wall next to the swimming pool? Ah, I'm not questioning it. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this picture before. No. Hey, what is that? Hang on. Sorry. What? If you look at um, uh, to the left of uh, Unit Zero's shoulder, there's like it, it looks like a hand. Is that supposed to be a hand? Those orange things. There's one that sticks out to the left. And then there's four... Is that a hand? I don't know. That's weird. What is this? Little boy Shinji with a paper airplane. And most of the world's underwater. Shinji and Ray in some art room? The way Ray's like sitting on that table is like, come at me, bros. That's creepy. Ah, uh, cuddling girls. Moving on. <laughs> Ray's praying to the moon gods. As you do. Pen Pen! Here we go. Why? Wait, why is Pen Pen holding a steering wheel? Maybe because Masato died. And that's all. Oh, Masato had a car accident. And, like, all that came back was the, the steering wheel. And, like, Pen Pen's, like, staring off into the moon, like, Oh, Masato, I miss you so much. And this is all I have to remember you by. <laughs> That's weird. Hey, it's that picture from the, um... Um... Um, um, um... The Rebirth of Angels Flash game. Well, obviously that's not where it came from, but that's where we first saw it. Um... Oscar's wearing a strawberry dress, and for a moment there, I was I was looking like because it's sideways. I, I for a moment there, I thought Shinji's shirt said clitoris, but no, it says cit citron or something. Citron, as in the car. Maybe. Here's Oscar in a unit two. God, there's more pictures. <clears throat> Evangelion, and there's an upside down naked ray in the middle of the sail, I think. Awesome. Of course there is. Well, why wouldn't there be? Yeah. No, you're right. Um. Uh, there's Oscar in her red dress, I mean, a yellow dress, holding down a skirt. Well, thank you for doing that for once. Flashing your panties at everyone, and then slapping them because they saw it. God. Oh, I remember this picture. I remember this picture really well. Really uh, helped me through puberty, that one. Moving on. That one did not. I haven't actually seen this, this picture before. It's weird how he's, um, does Ray's do that? No, really, Ray's is like skin tight. But you look at, like, Shinji's waist. And the plug suit's all, like, foldy. Theoretically, it shouldn't do that. It should be skin tight, right? There's Masato. Oh, Pen Pen, a shadow of Pen Pen in the background. I just realized it's actually Shinji with Unit 1 in the back, and this one's Masato with Pen Pen in the back. Mecha Pen Pen! Oh, that'd be the greatest! Mecha Pen Pen would be sick! Um, with really, really perky breasts. Wow, those are perky, man. You can poke someone's eye out with those. Those put, those put Madonnas to shame. Yeah, there's Oscar with Unit 2 in the back. And nice butt. There's Ray with Unit Zero in the back. Unit Zero, that big weird one eye. Big one glassy eye. <clears throat> There's Kyro with no Ava in the back. Just Sele. Fair enough. Doing a funny pose. Uh, Ray, oh, Ray fell down. Oh, Ray, you fell down. Oh, I'll help you up. Is that it? No, we've got etc. Etc. What the fuck is this? Epson. Honda. What the hell? So there's mechanics working on what seems to be a robot, though she's kind of like colored like she's a formula, formula car. Is this like a weird future where robot girls are races? Oh, is this the same thing? Suzuka, eight hours. World Endurance Championship Race, 2050. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, girls are 
robot girls are the drivers, because, like, the silver one there is Mercedes. The red one, they're also, you can totally, they totally have nipples. That's inappropriate. <laughs> and there's Citroen. Oh, yeah, and Michelin, and Norma, and all sorts of, um, product placement there. And there's Japan, riding a Honda? Indeed. Is this, like, promotional stuff for the Suzuka 8 Hours, or, or Honda, for that matter? Prima... Prima, Prima VR. No idea. Oh, there's a picture of uh, Alfa Romeo. Huh. And uh, there's a woman in a red dress. And if she bent over just a little bit more, we'd be able to see what she had for breakfast. Alright, that's it. <laughs> so, um, hope you've enjoyed uh, having a look at these pictures. Uh, that went longer than I thought it was going to go now. Um, but uh, that's all for this. Um, so when we come back, we'll be playing a new Evangelion game. Maybe the next one will actually be a game this time. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and everyone have a happy year of Evangelion!